this is Howard Walensky for Skype, and I'm speaking with Luba Bray, best-selling New York Times author, and uh, among her other claims to fame is uh, is a Skype tour. So what was that about? What was that about? Um, well, I think, number one, it's about saving money. Um, you know, it's always, it always involves a little Andrew Jackson. Um, it was also about trying to find a way that authors could interact with readers without having to, I mean, frankly, do the expense of a huge book tour going across country um, and to try to see uh, what that would be like. And I think one of the things that's kind of cool about it is that, in a way, it makes it even more intimate because, in effect, you're inviting readers into your home. Well, let and me I see. Can, I can see a bookshelf. Uh, you can and, see probably. I'm going to do my best Vanna White. Yeah, I see bookshelf. a bookshelf, and you, you have doors that look like Closet. my doors behind Closet. you. Over here, that's, that's the bed for thinking. Oh, okay. That's where you can recline. You can say, Beulah, peel me a grape. Nobody will, but you can say it. Uh -huh. And over here, you can see, look. The fuzzy cow pen. Oh, well, I know you have See, a book you would not coming up. You have a book a coming up on. Tour. You have books, a book coming up on cows, huh? I do have a book coming up about mad cow disease. Yeah, that sounds fun. Sounds <laughs> <laughs> it's the feel good string theory mad cow disease of fall. Come on, Howard. Yeah, I love I love those prions, you know. <laughs> I tell you, get your prion on. You gotta That's get your prion. on. You gotta get your priorities. Oh, Most, oh. But at any rate, well, I'm not trying. So. Well, then that's even sadder for me. But at any rate, what you've done a regular book tour as well, right? Where you've gone city to city. Yes, I have. And that's kind of it's kind of draining. You're you spend a lot of time on airplanes and hotel rooms. There's a lot of dead time. And you're away from your family. Am I describing that correctly? Or you are. You're making it sound like a, a bleak wasteland. It's it's really not a bleak wasteland because uh, if you have children at home, when you go to a hotel, you're you're alone, and that alone is is pretty amazing. Um, but yes, you are. You're away from your family, and if you have, um, you know, I know for me, trying to get. Uh, Sometimes tours happen, coincide with school things that are going on, and so that can be very, very disruptive. Um, and this really sort of affords you the opportunity to, you know, I mean, I can Skype in my pajamas. What's better than that? Are you telling me you have your pajamas on now? I do not have my pajamas on now. Although it's now. It's 7 o'clock. Right. Although I'm not, you... I'm not quite to the early bird special yet. Um, so I can, I can still, at 7 o'clock, I can still kick it. But, now, you know, if now, it's, if you're, mm -hmm. I'd, I'd read that you were a little bit late for your first Skype session uh, over here, mm -hmm. over in Oak Brook, Il no, in Oak Park, Illinois, not too far from where I'm at right now. You, you missed your curtain call almost, or you had to make, <laughs> or you almost had to make a choice. And what was that about? Uh, that was about uh, my fine, uh, finely honed sense of organization. Not. Uh, for some reason, I thought that they were going to call it seven, and we were actually scheduled, I think, for five, five and seven, not the same thing. And so, um, so they rang me up at five, and um, I thought, oh, okay, they're doing a test run, and it's a good thing that there isn't scratch and sniff Skype because I was not pretty. Well, let me see. I'm going to scratch on you right now. It's like. Oh my uh, God! You know, I actually—that's something that's in like the heaven, pipe. right? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's like that's good stuff. Scratch wait a again. Minute. It smells like right there, right there. I think it's tincture of opium. <laughs> Is that what I'm smelling? I wish more like tincture of oatmeal. A tincture of bo. <laughs> no, I'm freshly showered. Oh well, boy, that was very, showered. very thoughtful of you. I yeah. know. I, I give till it hurts, Howard. You, you know, so what? Okay, so you're you're in this library. Uh, were you able to see see the fans? How's that? Yeah, I was. It was um, it was really cool because it was the fun thing too is that 
you can comment on anything that's happening in the bookstore. And I think that sometimes, um, while I, I do sometimes comment on things that are going on in the bookstore, there's something about having people large on your screen. They look at you in such a way that it's it's like deer in headlights, you know, and the, like they, they're not really quite sure what to do with you. And it, it really makes for comedy gold, Howard. It does. So did you, you had fun with the kids? Yeah, absolutely. And you also got some quality time with booksellers as well? Yes. So that, yes, that... and it's nice, I think, too, to know now. I mean, I, I know some of these booksellers because I've, I've traveled around, but um, now that they have foolishly given, given me their Skype numbers, I could just call them up, you know, in the middle of dinner and like, hey, what are you guys doing? Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's really, it's a cool thing. So... Okay, now, I th in talking to your publicist, she was saying that, uh, you know, when you have a new hardcover out, it's sort of primo book tour time. You have a new paperback out. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so there, there's less support, I guess, from publishers to, to send you on the road and sell, right? Yes. So, so meanwhile, you get to build the brand, and that's what you're all about, isn't it? <laughs> that's right that's all we're about howard <laughs> so you were words you... Bah, they mean artistry it means nothing bah, we are only about the brand um <laughs> i like to steal the souls of other of, of unsuspecting readers through skype uh no it's not entirely what it's about but it is um it's certainly um a painless way to be able to be in a lot of places at once and have that kind of interaction in a way that doesn't feel, um, I think in a way that doesn't feel salesy, you know, because I think that for a lot of writers, the idea of having to then stand out there sandwich board style and be like, and now buy my new book, now with the power of baking soda, is, um, is not very appealing. And so to be able to have a conference call with a bunch of readers and, and, and feel like you're sitting down kind of having a coffee clutch is appealing because then it's not, it doesn't feel like, you know, and by the way, I'm selling my book. It's like, Oh, well, what are you guys doing in Miami? What's going on there? And by the way, how many cities did you visit on the tour? I know you were here mm -hmm. in Chicago. Yeah. I want to say, I want to say like 10 to 12. Oh, really? That's pretty extensive. Yeah, it was. It was a it was a big tour last time, but I was touring with another author, the fabulous Shannon Hale. Um, so wait, that that was the the bookstore tour. That that was okay, but in the Skype tour, how many? In was? the Skype tour, oh, I want to say I want to say six. Now well, that's still a fair amount. So do you do you feel it was time well spent? And what what advice would you give to other authors about doing that? I think that it. I think that. It has the potential to be really, really great. I don't think that all the pieces are in place yet because it's it's new, and I think that there are I, th I think one of the things that we're going to have to probably try to combat or figure out how to address is the fact that when you go to a bookstore, you want your book signed. And so you are going to miss out on that aspect. I mean, yes, there can be pre-signed book plates, but it's not like you're going to um, it's not like you're going to go through the line and then get your book signed. And I know for, for many people, that is a huge draw. Now, on the other side of it, I think that this kind of medium really affords you the ability to have more, um, more talk time. I mean, I think that it's, it's possible to, um, you know, like we were, that we had more time to sort of interact in a way that you don't always get time to do when you're doing a traditional book signing in a bookstore. Um, I, I think there are merits to both, but one of the things I would have to say, the thing that I really, really like about Skype is that it feels very intimate. It does feel like you're having people in your home. And that, that was really fun because, you know, then you've got lots of stuff to play with. I can take them on a tour of my house with my computer and say, here are the cats, you know, here's where I do laundry. Who wants a snack? I'm having a snack. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, you know, I think maybe our million-dollar idea, or I guess these days it would be trillion, is if we could come up with a remote way of signing, you know, over the Internet. 
Get on that, Howard. I well, I'll t I'll tell my friends at Skype to do that. Okay, the night's young, you know. Well, we'll give.